Hi, directions for Databases, Module A, Homework 2. And you should be opening the one we just submitted for um, Homework 1. That was the one with the course table, department, and students, the one that you created on your own. So I'm going to close them all. And what we're going to do, if just noticing here on the course table, there are nine records. And if you wanted to start a whole new record, you could kick click on the bottom where it says new blank record and you would continue filling out new information. This is what's called data sheet view. So there's another way that you could type in the information in what's called form view. So I'm going to close out of here. I'm going to click, because I'm going to start with the first one, course, just once, don't double click it. Choose create and choose form wizard. Now it says table course because that's the one I had selected. If I didn't, I could actually select from here. Um, I want all of the column titles or the fields to go over. So I'm going to select all of them. The double arrows or the chevron moves all of them over. Click next. I want it in column layout. Next. Um, I'll keep it the name course. That's fine. Uh, I could type course form, but you don't need to and you'll see why in a minute. And click finish. And so it's underneath forms and there it is, it's course. And if you look down at the bottom, there are the nine courses each one on its own separate page. So they're separate from when you look at it as a table. And if I wanted to add an entire new record, I would click new blank record, and I could um, select the department and then put in the course number, course name, and so forth. But these are all, they get their own page. And then I'll close out of here. We'll do the same thing for department. Click it once, create, form wizard, I already chose department. I want all of the column headings, the field names to go over. Click next and keep it in column layout. Next. Um, the name is fine. Finish. And there it is in department. This one only had three records. And I'll close out of here and I'll do the last one. Students. That one only had two records. And the last one would be students. Create. Form wizard. Students. If you weren't sure, you could select from here, but students is what I want all of the fields, and next, column, next, and finish. And again, there's only, there's only one field in here. I said two. We're going to add one. So at the bottom, click the, the um, star, yellow star, click new. And again, with the number, student ID number, just press tab. And it won't appear until we type something here. I'm going to type in Poppins. First name, Mary, contact information, make up a number. And then initial date, go ahead and select a date. And then I will close out of here. Forms don't ask you to save, so you don't have to worry about that. If you want to make sure it's in there, I'll double click. There's my information and there's Mary Poppins. So it is in there. What I want to show you, which is really neat, is some people like to add their, um, enter their data through a form. And some would rather do it in a table. So I'm going to click in students as a table, which is the same one as the form. And when I click it to open up the table, it should have my information and the new one, Mary Poppins, that I just put in. And there it is. So if you wanted to, you could fill in the information from here, which is data sheet view, or you could do it in form view. It is the same database. So it's up to you which one you'd like to work with. Make sure you close everything. File, save this as, and just go into the name when you're ready to save it as two, so you know that this is homework assignment two, and submit that. Make sure you close out of here, and then you'll reopen it for part three.